another epic mail call. Oh, look at all oh, the legendary. Here we go. Check that out. No way. Oh, dude. What is up, guys? Welcome back to part two of the two part episode for this mail call. Now, yesterday I got some amazing casts from David Gibson as well as Brandon over at Live or Die Cast. We're going to go ahead and see what my buddy Bruce sent. Um, I cannot wait. This is actually a pretty good sized box. It could be one giant item. It could be a basketball. I don't know what it is, but I'm excited. And I definitely do appreciate you putting the congrats on 3K. Um, without you guys, I definitely would not have hit that milestone. But hopefully we continue to grow together and grow the Mustang Hunter family. So I definitely do appreciate you. But let's go ahead and get this bad boy open and see what we got. All right, we got a little letter. First, congratulations on 3K. Thank you so much, buddy. Though I'm not surprised, nor I will be at 5 or 10K. You're good people, as my grandma used to say. I'm sure I can speak for the rest of the community in saying 3,000 of us have a lot of respect for what you do, not only for the diecast collectors, but for our country as well. Anyways, I can tend to ramble, so cutting to the chase, you already know what one casting I sent. My collection has grown too large and I need space for new toys. Definitely feel you on needing new space. There is no order to the packages except the one marked last. I expect nothing in return except continued great content. Thank you bud for all you do. Have a safe and healthy fourth. God bless Bruce. P.S. Don't open King Nut's box. <laughs> nice. Guys, so we have one for King Nut right here. There we go. Kind of curious what is in here. So you can see right here, I haven't met up with King Nut yet, but check this out. He's gonna have some goodies waiting for him and we still need to split this one. Um, the thing I didn't mention was I love the fact that this is a car ad. It's so fitting. Yeah, check that out. Some car ads, poor lost dog right there. But let's go ahead and see what we got guys. This looks freaking awesome. All right, so we got first bundle right here. Move that there. Let's go ahead and put the letter in the letter box. What we got? Oh, we got some super fasts. Nice, dude, check this out. <laughs> check this out, guys. You got the super fast of the Ford SVT Cobra. Look at that. Now this is a 90s. Um, and based off the taillights, this is a 95 Cobra. Uh, 96 and 98 had the vertical three bar taillights and the 95s still had the horizontals. Check that out guys. This was probably one of the only Mustangs um, of this era that didn't stick to the traditional tri bars in the vertical position. These were horizontal, but look at that. God, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this is the Sonic Blue, which is legendary to the Cobra, even though it's probably not what Matchbox was doing, but look at this, guys. You have the very, very nice Sonic Blue metallic. You have some headlight, fog light details. You have the chrome five spokes. You do have the snake badge right there on the fender. God, look at the tail lights, man. Those just pop. So it's number 66 out of the super fast look at that guys limited edition one of 15,000 now this is my very first 90s or I'm just gonna say it's a 95 it's my very first 95 Cobra in my entire collection check that out and look at this he followed up with another Oh, this one's insane, but the big difference between this one and that one is it actually has the Terminator Cobra on the car. Check that out. It's the same casting as that one. It's still a 95, but look at that, guys. You got the Terminator card art, which is amazing. Um, now, the Terminators did not have the honeycomb grill with the running pony and the trim. That was like 2000, 2001 for the GTs. But look at that. I'm not gonna critique them on their accuracy, but look at this casting. Oh 
Oh man, my one of my buddies growing up had a 95 Cobra, but it was a coupe. Oh, this is look at this, man. You have this beautiful screaming yellow. I'm just gonna go ahead and name these the Mustang colors, guys. You have the screaming yellow. You have the nice headlight fog light detail. The grill inserts are black. Love the chrome five spokes. You have the snake, which is a little bit better detailed on this one. Uh, black interior, and they actually did a full tail light tampo. And check that out. You got the Cobra license plate. The other one have a Cobra license plate? Nope, the other one did not have a plate at all, but look at this one. God, that is sweet. I've never even seen those before. And look at this, he sent another one. This one is the, looks like the 99, no. Yeah, it's the 99, because it's got the 35th anniversary badge on there. Look at this one. Oh, that is freaking sweet. Look at that, you got a nice white enamel, or in the Mustang world, it's Oxford White. You have the taillight tampos, same five spoke wheels, some silver headlight tampos, which is A-OK, -okay. at least they have some detail on there. You got the tan interior and the gold stripes. God, that is clean. Look at that card art. They actually used the die cast as the card art. I actually really like these, man. That is freaking sweet, man. Next up we have, uh-oh, we have a Jada. Can't remember if it was Hewitt's, but he sent me a truck out of this same Hero Patrol. But check this out, you have the Ford Mustang. Look, at, of course you have the black with the white door, the white hood, and it looks like it says, dedicated to serve, police patrol unit. Look at that. So this is a 2010 to 2014 Mustang. It's got lights and sounds, guys. <laughs> Look at that, it's a Target exclusive. I've seen these cars there, I've never seen the Mustang. There's the Silverado I have. Look at that, you have a blue one too, the S550. Oh man, thank you so much, man. Oh, there's the one that says last. All right, let's see, what do we got? And he sent some more super fast. Uh-oh, let's start off with this one. Which one is it going to be? It's the Chevy van. Boom! Look at this! Yes, I remember you sending a picture of this. Oh my god, dude. That is freaking sweet. Look at that. Shelby Cobra 427 SC. And look at this. It's a bare metal cast. I love the white meatball with the 98. The wheels, of course, are accurate. They look so good. God, that is nice. And check that out. Best of International. You got to let me know about these carded ones with the little power grab box. God, that is freaking sweet, man. It looks so much cooler in person. Look at that. God, these are stuff I don't have. And look at here. We have a 69 SS. Ooh, this is a beautiful one. Look at this. Out of Muscle Mania. You have a really nice yellow enamel with the red and blue stripes running down the side. Of course, you do have the SS396 badge. You have the black MC5s with the red ring and black interior. Check this one out. Damn, this is a nice one. Pretty sure you guys are going to let me know some facts about this. That's what I love about um, doing these unboxes and kind of giving the description of the car itself. There's a lot of you that have let me know like certain ones were either Toys R Us exclusive, Kroger exclusives, and I didn't even track that. So I definitely appreciate you guys commenting, throwing down some information and knowledge for me. So I definitely do thank you for that. All right, back to super fast. Oh man, look at this. The 70, 72? It's gotta be a 72 because of the headlights. Either 71, 72, but look at this Chevelle, guys. Oh, man. Oh, this is a beauty. You got a nice red enamel with the black stripes. Definitely signature to the SS, of course. 
Um, and if I were to buy a Chevelle, it would definitely be red with black stripes. There would be no other color I would want it. But of course, if I had a chance to get a Chevelle, I would get it in any color. Another limited one, one of 15.5 thousand. So the Chevy Chevelle, definitely like the wheel style. It looks really good. You got some nice headlight turn signal details. The tail lights are done nicely. Man, this is just a beautiful Chevelle. Based off of the headlights, this looks like a 71 to 72. Because the 70s have the four eyes. Oh man, here we go. We have another one in black. Oh, there we go. Yep, this one has 71 Chevelle SS. So based off of that, that one's probably a 71. They just never listed it as a 71, but it is casted after that. But oh my God, this is beautiful. Got the black, the white stripes, white interior. Oh yeah, this thing just looks beautiful. Super Fast America. God, man. So I am super stoked so far with these cars right here, guys. I don't have many Super Fast. Uh, the ones I do have are Porsches and the Honda 2000. So I got this one. Um, I got the two Porsche variations. And then I do have 74 Dodge Challenger. Um, but those are the only ones I have out of the super fast. Everything else is regular matchbox or the power grab. So that is so freaking sweet, man. What is this? MHD. As long as it don't say King Nut on it, I am opening it up. All right, let's see. What is in this? <laughs> Rapid, you already know what this one is. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on. Look at this, guys. Ha! <laughs> hey, Rapid, you can no longer rub it in my face. Oh my God, the Charlie's Angels 76 Mustang 2 Cobra 2. Look at how beautiful this is. <laughs> oh, nice, man. Oh, that is freaking clean looking. Love the Cobra Deco. Oh my God, you have a nice blue interior. Look at the detail of this thing. God, this is nice. All right, Rapid, so he did comment on my latest of the Mustang 2 that I just recently got in this beautiful color, as well as this one. And he was saying that it was still not as cool as this one, but I gotta say, all the Mustang 2s that I got, are beautiful but this does go in its own category just because of it's just set up in a legendary color scheme like the white with blue stripes god that is a beautiful freaking casting man dude you are so awesome thank you for that one bubbles all right so last bundle right here oh this is a box not a bundle make sure that dang look at that bubble that is nice. All right, let's see, what do we have in here? Oh man, what could this be? All right, so he taped it. Bruce Zolo, 21. Don't want to do this, but let's cut this very precisely. All right, guys, let's do this. Let's get this unveil. You ready? Got this. Oh, look at that, guys. That is beautiful. Here we go. Oh, look at those. Oh, that is freaking sweet. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Look at this beautiful color. These look nice man check this out it is a copper metallic look at the flake the detail alone look at that you have the headlights the grill bumper everything and this one is the 65 2 plus 2 look at this one and those wheels oh man 
The street alone looks so realistic. Wow, man, that is freaking nice. Check out those wheels. You got the little rubber red lines. Coming around the back, you have some nicely detailed taillights, bumper. God, hold on, let me reposition this. This is freaking beautiful, man. Look at that. You got the window trim in chrome on both, the door trim. The detail on these are just beautiful. And look at that. Look at that dash. You have the steering wheel and instrument cluster done. The dash is actually paint to match on both. But you do have some trim detail on the interior. Look at this, man. This is some good custom work, man. That is wow. Look at that. What is this? What is that? No freaking way. Check that out, guys. It has active steering on it. No way. Bruce, dude, you gotta let me know what casting that is. That is freaking sweet, but you did a fantastic freaking job on these. God, you have my favorite casting right here with some beautiful wheels. The color, interior, everything just looks so good on these cars. Look at it. Oh my god, let's put this bad boy together and check it out in the display. Look at this, guys. Jeez, that is beautiful. God, that is freaking amazing. Let me know what that is, because I've never seen a, a 164 with active steering like that. That is beautiful, man. Check this out, guys. Bruce definitely hit us with some epic and awesome castings right here guys of course let's go ahead and move this out of the way of course you have my dream car right here the chevelle this is these are 71s which look beautiful i love the red and black the black and white looks great as well but red is my favorite color and then of course you do have the target exclusive hero patrol mustang um, and these right here guys these super fast Oh my god, the yellow Cobra, the blue Cobra, and then you have the 35th anniversary Mustang right here, and this beautiful Shelby in the raw finish. God, these are nice. Of course, you cannot forget the 69 Chevelle SS 396 out of the Muscle Mania. This is a beautiful casting as well, but I'm just so amazed on these cars and these customs right here. And this right here, finally, Rapid can stop rubbing it in my face that I don't have this casting anymore. So Rapid, if you're watching this, you don't have the one up on me no more. I got it and it's carded and it's going to stay in cherry condition. So awesome. I feel like I do need to do something for you. So if you need to find anything, if you're looking for anything in particular, please let me know. I'll definitely do my best to hook you up because this is just awesome. Um, and then of course I'll give the box to King Nut because he still needs to get this package. So King Nut, you have two packages now and we still got to divvy up those castings that are in that bag. So again guys, I appreciate you all tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Comment down below your thoughts on these super fast cars. And then of course guys, if you have more info on anything you saw in this video, comment down below. I love reading new info that a lot of you collectors have. There's so much knowledge out there. Um, so thanks for always commenting and giving me the heads up on certain casting. So that is all I got, guys. You gotta film my way, you gotta film your way. Yep, yep. Oh, this this is gonna be bonus scene. Bonus scene over here at <laughs> King Nuts. All right, guys. So a new look. This is the middle of the casa. This is, the, this is King Nut Raceway right here. Apparently, we have a little something something to open up and ship. We gotta divvy it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let the one-handed master over here get Mustang it. Mustang gonna do it one-handed. <laughs> All right. Cause he's got like he's got to do his for me. Yeah right. <laughs> this is good stuff. We get to see it right here. And I don't fast forward things. I yeah I do cause sometimes I'm like what the heck? Why is this taking so long? <laughs> Boom, look at that one hand skill. He, he does, he does it one handed. That's what the military taught us to do. That kind of sounded bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm hoping they're the same car. But like four different variations? I watched his I watched his video of this unboxing, which is amazing. Yeah. I'm looking forward to part two. Part two is gonna be posted today. This is gonna to be the bonus at the end. I already have it all edited, so. Oh, okay. So part two is coming. All right. All right. Two and two. Let's see. All right. So this is how we'll do it. You want to do a random like, you well, pick two, I pick two, and then what, that's whatever it is. Or you want to open them and I then think we, we open them. You you just well, it's hard to open one handed. Oh, I already know what they are. They're all for me. <laughs> I, I already know what they are. They're all for me, guys. These are bone shakers. I can feel it. Watch them be all the same, but variations. You know what? Yeah. All right. Let's. I get all of them. All right, let's open it up. I would arm your phone for it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Number one. Okay. <laughs> You're right, dude. <laughs> Got the nice flame. Check that out. Oh, that is clean. Oh, that is clean. That's nice. And uh -oh. nice see that one close. So, this one right here. Actually, I have this one. All right. I do have one of these. I think I have one of these. Yeah. Uh, you know. Better go check. Because if not, that's a winner know. by default. I don't know if I have one of those. I think, I believe I do. I'm going to have to double check that. All right, number two. Number two. Sorry, look, you guys are getting the, my little mail pile right here. You guys are getting a C. Jeez. This is when I start like to fast forward things in my videos. Not us. I don't fast forward anything. <laughs> Oh. Oh man. Ooh, look at this one. Ooh, this is an oldie. Look at that. Shook. It's got the Shook deco. There you go. Yeah, I, this one I don't have. I know that for, for a fact. I don't have I don't one. think I've even seen that variation. Do you know who designed the bone shaker? Is it Larry Wood? Larry Wood, yeah. Yeah, because I think he's the character inside the skull shaker. Oh, is he? I think that's his head. Oh. Yeah, it's supposed to be his head. Really? Yeah. That's funny. Okay. I mean, he's oh. retired now. Number three. Ooh. Ooh. Another one I don't have. It's out of the Hot Wheels 50th. Uh-oh. Another one I don't have. That one's nice. I like it when it has the black skull and the black motor. Yeah, it looks good. Even those 50th wheels look good on it. All right. Last but not least. Jesus. <laughs> I don't think he's going to help you. Yeah. <laughs> Not in this situation. All right. What is this one? Oh. oh, I think we both have this one. Yeah, we both have that one. There we go. Dang, that's nice. These are nice. It is. All right. All right, so how do you want to do this? Rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> yeah, right? Thumb war. Um. Ultimate thumb war. Well, I'm pretty sure we both have this one. Yeah. And I am like 90% sure I already have that one. So that one automatically goes to you. You want to check first? Mm -hmm. All right, let's check. All right, we're going. My hot wheels room is a total mess. It's a total mess, but we're going to check. This is rare sneak peek I'm behind the, the scenes. There's a lot of trash down there. All right. All right, up here are the bone shakers. You have, but it's a wheel variation. It's right here. Yeah. It's right here. All right, let's, let's go compare them. All right. The day in the life of King Nut. Yeah, okay, so. Yeah, this is the one that I have. And you're right, it is a wheel variation because it's got the red. All right, so that one you can have. That way you can have at least a variation for it. The wheel variation. Boom. All right. Now which one do you want? Uh, I'm kind of digging the 50th, to be honest. This one? Yeah. Here you go. That is you. Boom. Look at that. We both have this one. Want to flip a quarter? <laughs> I don't have what a quarter. Do you, what do you want to do there? Uh, wait, challenge oh, coin. The challenge coin. This coin is freaky. All right, guys. So, squirrels is king nut. 
because it's got the nuts on there. So very <laughs> fitting. I like it, I like it. <laughs> and then this one's got the B2 with the alien, which is mine. So you flip. You flip. The you nuts flip. get king nut. All right, ready? Here. It doesn't matter here. If we're doing Carpet. Right. Carpet gets more bounce. Okay. All right. We're about to see. All right, here we go. Ultimate test. The crazy flip. Ready? Huh. It rolled. Okay, your choice. No. Your Look choice. at that. All right. He gets to choose. Taking this one. Why would you do that? Because I can customize that. You. Oh, okay. You are the bone shaker guy. There you go. This is one I don't have. And this, like we already pointed out, is a wheel variation. Dude, that is dope. Boom. Really, the only one that I thought was really cool was this one. I do like those a lot. I have one of these in, the, in a different color variation. This one? I have the, it's blue. Oh. It's the same, same you know, livery and all that. But yeah. It's blue. The wheels on that are really cool. There we go. So, right on. Even with the closed top and an open top. <laughs> but these ones are pretty sweet though. Yeah. Look at that. I like this. Yeah, variation is nice. These are cool. So there you go. You got the one with the hot one wheels. Yeah, have you looked and seen all of the different variation or the different um, models that Larry Wood has made? It's a lot. He is, it's yeah. insane. He's like up there with Ryu. Yeah. <laughs> like he's made yeah, it's crazy. Ton. So there we go, guys. King Nuts leaving with these two, and I'm leaving with those two. Right on, dude. There we go. Mine. Yeah, for sure, man. You gonna show them the little sneak peek of the little bone shaker? So yeah, okay. So I was gonna do this just in the video later, but check it out. He brought this over. This is a new glow in the dark bone shaker, which I don't have. That's cool. That is pretty sweet. The next one's a Roger Dodger, so that's the only one I want. I'll give it to you. So. If I find it first, I'll give it to you. Cool. And then, he brought over some stuff to unbox. Okay, now this came from who? That one came from David Gibson. David Gibson. All right. And David, that David, one. I'm open this up. Also, so these came from David also. Uh, yes, one, yes. So, David, thanks for these bone shakers. But uh, we're going to continue on with this video here, opening this stuff. And this one is from? That one's from Bruce Zolo. Bruce. All right. We can get those things open, guys. Cool. 